feeling. First up on the show, Jess is here with me. Congratulations. Yeah, that was a really exciting game. Can you hear me? Okay. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, that was a really exciting game. And um, I thought we saw the best of Arsenal under Arteta probably today. Um, we've never played that good, like in attack under Arteta ever. And so, you know, I think a lot of Arsenal fans are waiting to see a free flowing fluid Arsenal that scores quite a bit of goals. And we did that today. Gabriel Jesus was definitely, you know, the, the difference maker there in terms of like the aggression and the emphasis and attention in the final third. And Gabriel Martinelli followed right behind him and was like, they were like the perfect little Batman and Robin up there. I mean, I thought that they were so, so good. And I know it's a good Arsenal day when we win a game, we're all excited about what we saw. And there were some clear under par performances in that in that team. And that's what most good teams have. They have maybe six or seven players playing really, really good. And then you have maybe three or so, you know, out there that you can see that aren't up to the same level, but you can carry those those average performances. So I think you know, we, we did a really good job today. Um, I thought, you know, the commentators on my side on the stream that I was watching were trying to make that game out to seem like it was even. It wasn't. Arsenal were playing a much better brand of football than Leicester. We gave them one opportunity, you know, or we gave them one goal and then they had one good opportunity. But ultimately, I thought we were so dominant and so fluid. And I also like that the depth on the bench is getting a lot better. The last game I saw you know, a lot of people kind of commenting on the bench. And I think it's because maybe they don't actually understand what's going on at Arsenal. We had players that were out with injury. Now we had Tomiyasu on the bench, Tierney on the bench, and ESR as well. And Ketty has been playing really well too. So, you know, seeing Arteta use those subs and then there was no drop off whatsoever, I do think gives us some um, some enthusiasm, something to to be like, okay, that's something different from last season because we know – when subs came in last season, we really dropped off. And so, yeah, and I just have to say with William Saliba, like for somebody that, you know, obviously scored an own goal, which was like, you know, we knew he was going to make a mistake. He still came out looking really, really good. If you look at the difference between the performance from Fofana and the performance from Saliba, you can say that even though Saliba scored an own goal, he was so good. He was relatively flawless except for that. So I, I couldn't be happier with the individual performances and the team performance. I do think people underestimate the, the mental stability of this team because like, had we had gone to two, one, you know, last season, we might've drawn that game or lost it. And we came right back and attacked them again. And so this was probably the best attacking performance of Arsenal under Mikel Arteta. And so, yeah, um, I have nothing to really complain about. I'll, I'm sure I'll find something later, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I've watched your videos. You sometimes do like to complain for no, absolutely no reason. No, I'm joking. You're just being constructive. And I think you're right to be positive. And the goals being conceded, listen, this early in the season, it's the acid test. How did you bounce back? What was the mental strength like? And you went straight out, solidified, scored, shut them down. And you didn't allow them to creep back into the game. Two years ago, you, you throw that game away, in my opinion. You, you concede that own goal cracks would have appeared and you'd have thrown that game away. You'd have drawn, but, but most probably lost to a team like Leicester two seasons ago. You're now in a situation where you're winning those games and coming back. So yeah, very emphatic in the end. Uh, Jess, really appreciate talking to you um, and we'll chat again soon. All right. All right. Bye. Take care. Bye. Bye. We're going to go to more. Cool.